So what I'm doing here is, this is the old battery that won't get the cars to start, losing power, won't even hold the charge. So what I hooked up to the 400, and the 400 is reading. It's 400 reading. 400 is reading. Charging battery, 13.6 volt, 2.4 amp, and it's giving me at 75%. This is a battery we just earlier full charged on the 1200 full charge on 1200 start a car once and it won't hold the charge so see if this thing can bring it back to 100 so i will have to recycle this battery take to autozone another one is i'll just keep it even it doesn't hold charge but if it holds 12 volt in case if this car is dead i can use this battery to jump start that car more like a mobile jump star thing using this battery and hopefully this battery will hold but I don't think so but it does have once it's all full charged it can maybe last for like two seconds to jump start another battery so yeah okay if it doesn't work to jump start another car I just recycle it just a matter of time recycle tomorrow or recycle six months down the road a year down the road it's still recycling it's just a tool to use in case any car is dead, but the car, the battery won't hold the charge, for sure. Don't even know what to do with it. Looks like... This battery, the one's bad, using the 400 series, it's just finished about 6 hours, from 75% to 100%. It stayed at 75% for the first 4 to 5 hours, and now it's called maintain with 13.4 volts and 0 amps interesting so that's the that's that battery okay the car shut down we are at 12.7 volt keep going up brand new battery running on its own not on a tender six hours later we'll see where the voltage is it's flexing see where the voltage goes it's determined if the battery can hold when I outside and park. Okay, I have to film this. It went to 2.8. Let me turn this on. 2.5, 2.9. 2.9. It was at 2.8 for a while. Maybe because I turned on the meter. Who knows? Okay, sneak peek. See what is it? It's an hour later. 12.81. 12. 12.81. 12. 12.80. So every time I turn on this thing, it just it drops for some reason. So, 1281. Okay, 12.5 with the lights on. Pop the trunk. Let's see if I can match where it be when I open the door. The door open 12.2. Okay, door open 12.2. 12.1. engine. <laughs> Fires right up. Amazing. So it worked. So what we gotta do next is just hook this back up. And I think it's soft and put the conditioner back in here when it's needed. I really think we fixed it. So now this a uh, I put a cover back in. So the tender wire came up came out here. That's where I connect. At this point, it could run in there and come out here. Makes no difference. They were about the same. The good thing came out here is I can tie to the main wire. So if you pull this, it's not directly tied to the two poles. Actually, there's a section with a zip tie to the main wire. And now here, uh, it's tied to the charger. And the charger basically says analysis at the moment. 
analyzing the battery. Okay, it's gonna take a little while. Yellow top. Connect it. Temperature compensations on. And I took out the mounting meter. Just clean connection from here to there. I can hook this back up. I'll just have extra wire comes out here. The Corvette charger goes to the cigarette lighter right here. So we don't do that anymore. Let's go straight to the battery for the AGM battery with the AGM charger and it says it says charging the 12 volt battery Optima 12.6 volt at 50% so the battery was at 100% we let it sit for 6 hours it dropped to 50% and it's charging at 3.6 to 4 amps which means something was taking electricity out of this battery interesting uh, we might have a, a leak here I'm not sure what kind of leak it is but good thing to know that the battery won't die within six hours I have six hour time parked somewhere and bring it back home and put on the tender still need to figure out what is taking the electricity from the battery so that's that nothing's connected in there it's all disconnected all the extra accessory I installed the rain lights and the strobe lights the red lights they all have a hard switch off so they're not on the only one I can think of that is sucking the juice out of this is the pedal commander the pedal commander uh, I'm not sure you guys can see it the pedal commander is not on at the moment but it doesn't say it doesn't suck the electricity so it could be the pedal commander is taking out electricity and killing the battery so far the battery is good it's charging I'm just surprised it's 12% or 50% based on this it's telling me and the old battery that won't start the car it was running at 75% but that thing wasn't didn't sit for six hours this did so with a brand new battery start a car after six hours enough charge but it went through its capacity about 50% it worries me oh well uh, yeah thanks for watching again check out my other video and this is my review and my DIY try to fix this battery the yellow top with two different chargers 1200 and 400 series and I'm pretty happy right now I'm sure it's not a battery issue and I have the correct charger so I might upload this video sometime in two three weeks I might have extra updates if this car went dead but most likely I don't think so the battery should be okay by its own correct charger could be the car issue